Hi, this is Stanley and welcome back to the final part of this tutorial. So, the first thing I am going to do here is, um, well, we're going to be putting together a table of contents, but the first thing I need to do is actually find a place to put it. Now, I want to put it before page one, but I don't have any pages before page one, so I'm going to create some. Now, if I just click uh, at the bottom of my pages panel down here, this little button here that says create a new page, one click, you can see what's going to happen. It's going to put a page into my document, but it's going to put it after page one. It is not what I want, so I'm going to just do a quick command Z, control Z on the PC to undo. Instead, what I'm going to do is click on the pages panel menu and select insert pages. Now in here you can see I've got some different options. Um, I can now generate as many pages as I want. In fact, I don't want one page, I actually want two. Because if I only have one, it's going to put the table of contents uh, just here next to page one, and it's going to look a bit odd. So I'm going to put two pages in. And so this thing after page one, which seems to be the default setting here, is I'm going to say before page one. And then click on OK. Now by default, you notice it actually puts the AE master on these new pages. You don't have to, you could leave it off, but um, for now I'm going to leave it as it is, and then click OK. Now I can see I've generated two pages. Fantastic. Now I want to be on page one, I can see I am on page one, that's good. Now in page one is this where I'm going to put my table of contents. Now, as I said, I don't have a table of contents, so I'm going to create it by clicking on the layout going down to the table of contents styles. Create a new style, I'm going to call this one my, oops, my TOC, so I know what it is. Okay, so I'm just going to change the title from contents to a war of the world contents. Now, I'm just going to uh, do that in capitals because I know that all my chapter titles are in caps and it would look a bit weird if it didn't uh, follow the same style. So, war of the world's contents. Okay, cool. Now, I don't have a style. So no paragraph style here. So I'm going to create a new one. And this new one, I'd quite like to base it on the body. Just so it's pulled in all the attributes from the body style. Now I'm going to just change this title to contents. And I'm going to go basic character formats. Just to see, yes, it's carried those attributes through OK. Indents and spacing. Fine. I think I'd like to change the alignment to centered, and I'm going to just space after. I'm going to get up to 10 mil, and I think that is all I'm going to do for now. And then I'm going to click OK. Okay, so that now has a style. This panel here, this is where we're going to add the styles to create the list of contents. So it's going to look for a paragraph style from this list. These are all the styles that I've created in my paragraph styles panel. Um, and this is the uh, option here to include anything from this list. I only want to look for the chapters. So I'm gonna click on the chapters. I know every chapter has this style applied to, applied to it. So I'll add that to the list. It's moved over here, look, brilliant. Now, style, chapters, it's got the, um, the same style, it's got the chapter, the same style applied to this list as it has on the chapters. I don't want that because the table of contents is going to have all that space after every entry, uh, which is not going to work for me. So I'm just going to change this and create a new paragraph style and tell it to base this also on the body. I'm going to call this one, um, uh, call it chapters TOC, just so I know what it is. And to check that it's carried the right attributes, 14, indents and spacing, left justify, that's good, space after four mil, that looks good to me. Yeah, perfect. Quite happy with that. Now, what I do want to do with this list is I want to create um, my my tabs. I want to look at my tabs because on my, uh, on my list I want the chapter name, number, then I want all the dots, and then I want the page number at the end on the other side. 
We do that under the tabs. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is I want to create a right justified tab. So I'm going to click on my ruler at the top there and insert a right justified tab. Now, I'm going to get this, I can't remember my page is A5, I've got to, don't forget I've got these margins set and I can't quite remember, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it to 100mm just for now. Uh, the leader is going to be where we set all the dots in between the title and the numbers, so I'm just going to put a dot in there and then a single space. That's going to be repeated to fill the gap. Um, I think... Ah, uh, that's it for me. Let me just check my basic character formats. 14. I do know with this story, one of the chapters is incredibly, the title is incredibly long. And I found in the past that 14 is just a little bit too big. Let's get that down to 12. Let's get that down to sort of like 16, the leading. Um, again, because it's a, a, a style, paragraph style, we can come back and, and edit this later on. I think for now, I'm happy with that. I'm going to click OK. Um, yeah, that's good. And I think now I'm all set to go. So let's click on OK. And then we'll click on OK here and that will close. Next step, back to layout. This time I'm going to click on Table of Contents. Then I'm going to click on OK. And then it will hopefully generate. And there it is, my Table of Contents, all on my loaded cursor there. So I'm going to click in the top left hand corner of my magenta margin. It's going to drop all of that uh, contents list in that frame. I can see actually it looks to me like it might even have gone over to page two to be honest with you. It has it spilled over so it's obviously too big so let's fix that. Now I can see that also these tabs aren't quite set right so let me just do a quick bit of tweaking make sure nothing's selected. Paragraph styles let me look at this one here. This one's the chapter TOC, so double click that one. I can see that the basic character form is, I think I can get that down a little bit more. Get down to 10. I still look at that. The length of this is so long, it's on two lines. Um, let's get the leading down a bit more. Ah, there's my last, my last chapter has just appeared on the page there, so I think I'm quite happy with that. Let me just get down a little bit more. Yeah. Quite happy with that. Uh, and obviously the tabs needs adjusting, so let's just get that up. And I can see there's numbers moving across. Good. I'm going to have to live with that chapter 12 being on two lines, I think. Um, OK, looks pretty good. And then click OK. Uh, I think I can get a little bit more space now after the, the title there, contents. So that one's contents. And then I'm going to say, you know what, I think that's also that font now. Get that down a bit. That looks good. And then a bit more space after. So indents and spacing. And we'll just push that down a bit more. Great. So far, so good. The thing I don't like about this, just hit W of a preview. I don't I don't like this header on this page at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Pages and I'm going to remove it. Now this is a part of my A Master. Well, by default, every page has the A-master applied to it, but it doesn't need to. We can remove it. And all we need to do is click on this blank page next to where it says norm, click, drag a page, and drop it onto page one. And you can see it has just removed those, uh, the, the header and the page numbering. So it's just removed those elements from my page, and you can see I no longer have the a on page one. Excellent. So, quick W. That looks fine. Apart from this down here, just not happy with that. I could probably just fix that by getting that font size down a bit more. But otherwise, I'm quite happy. Excellent. So, I think one thing we need to do now is we're just going to export this as our PDF very quickly. File and export. The core War of the Worlds, click save. Oh, already got one there called that. Let's replace it. Now I'm just going to include the hyperlinks and the bookmarks and view PDF. Make sure that's switched on. Just check the marks and bleeds aren't on. Otherwise, I'm going to leave this on this high quality print. That looks good to me. Very basic. I'm not really fussed about too much of this. Then export. 
So I need to test it. Very quickly, you can see the little lines going up and down on the application bot. It just shows it's exporting in the background. Now, just to zoom out a bit. Now, because I ticked the option for the hyperlinks, all of these chapter titles should now be hyperlinks to the relevant chapter. Let's try it. Chapter 5. Fantastic. Chapter 5. It works. Brilliant. Now, I know this is a PDF for print, but as you can see, it still uh, includes some basic interactivity, like your hyperlinks, and also don't forget your PDF bookmarks as well. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been uh, quite a long tutorial, but we've covered quite a few things. Thank you very much.